the house that I lost $100,000. This is my daughter and her, my, uh, her boyfriend. Okay, so come on, Alexis, come here. So I'm teaching them today how to work on a property. And this is something called a lockbox. Can you open the lockbox, guys? 5040 is the code. Why would you? Because it's all right. Uh, so if you need to get in, you don't have the keys. You just go there and uh, open the box and get the keys. Do you have the keys, George? Sure, eh? My keys, they know what units they are, and we want the garage unit, and we want to go right over there and open that up. If you can just open that up, George, and get it all set, let me know. Um, this is the property, the backyard. This is Pensalkin. So this is like the three bedroom back here. I mean, I call it the Frankenstein house because we had to rebuild half of it. I mean, I had to side it. I mean, we, we just actually did whatever we could do to fix this property. High range, not that open. Okay, open it up. So it's not that cheap. Um, it cost me an hour cash because my daughter got a raise on her job. So I have to pay her at least that to pay her boyfriend. Uh, it also cost me breakfast at Dunkin' Donuts, 20 bucks, and lunch, 30 bucks, pizza, the one she likes. Uh, so, am I really saving money by hiring the kids? Driveway of the front of the unit, this is a two bedroom right here. You know, I, uh, actually for parking, I actually made this all rock, so we had more parking space. I needed space for like six cars, and uh, it's a pretty busy, you know, road here. I'll break down all the financials to you and let's see what we have in the garage that we have to work on today. Okay, so down here we have light down here. This is the Park Avenue garage. And this is today. Say hi Alexis. No. <laughs> okay, so again some old doors. Some old tiles, freaking back stuff from the two years ago with this property, all the paint, everything's new here. So that's it, we're gonna clean it up. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so a half an hour in, maybe 45 minutes. Okay, so about an hour into the day, a day in the life of a landlord. Uh, we got a lot of the stuff out of the, this building right behind me, if you can see it, Park Avenue. Uh, doors, tubs, just a bunch of stuff that I'm going to bring into my other warehouse so we can keep everything organized and all together. And uh, that's where we're going now. Take care. See you in a little bit. Bye. Okay, so now we're at uh, Penn Street, the other house. Uh, we're moving somebody in today at 11. Um, and uh, so I'm bringing everything over from basement of one triplex to a garage that I use as like kind of a warehouse slash garage at another property house 10th Street as you guys well know it this is the one with the noise violation people uh, we just got it rented today so I'm really happy about that and uh, that's my daughter's boyfriend working in the garage to unload everything it's right in the corner right in the corner okay so that's perfect now uh, they're coming here today pretty much to clean the leaves over here over here I mean you know, I just like to get it everything so that the units can breathe a little bit clean it up you know keep it nice so I'm gonna keep on going throughout the day and show you the little things we are doing a day in the life of a landlord take care guys no, stop. <laughs> okay, Alexis and George, real quick. Just see if, if you guys have been paying attention to me today. Um, what are these called? What are these doors, Alexis, called with the frames that are attached around them? Pre-frame something. Pre-frame doors, good, pre-hung. Um, why do we keep lock boxes at the property, Alexis? So you have like, keys to organize. Okay, excellent. Alexis, what are you gonna be in this uh, in this real estate empire that we're, we're going for? Like, what's your role? Boss. <laughs> okay, guys, take care. Okay, so we're going up to the second floor rental right now. And uh, I'm here with my daughter and her boyfriend, George. First knock, George would say, hello, landlord. Hello, landlord. Say it with you, like you have some balls. Say it, come on. Hello, landlord. 
Hello, landlord. Thank you. Okay. Is there something in there? Yeah. Hold on. I didn't know that. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, my daughter and her boyfriend are fish, finishing up, doing some smoke alarms in the property. And uh, I just did another property. <laughs> yeah. Ironically, it has the same uh, color <laughs> as the other property I showed you. But this is a huge lot. <laughs> Uh, there used to be trees on this. I, it was crazy how we cleaned it up. We built the driveway. Now, a big house. This actually was a house that a hoarder used to live in. And, um, yeah, we cleaned it out. Definitely made it look nice. This house is getting, uh, I believe, oh, that scared me. I think 16 or 75. A month plus utilities. So yeah, so it's nice. You know, it has a wraparound porch. You know, uh, so again, I'm just here checking out the property, an outside look. You know, it is what it is. They keep it decent. Only thing I really have to do when it gets a little nicer out is probably uh, scrape the porch. And for 20 minutes, George has been trying to put up a smoke detector. Now, all you have to do is put up two screws, and that's it. But, George, what is the problem? You try. You try to do it. I got you it. You try to do it. Why are you guys having such an issue with a smoke detector? It's in the bush. Try to, screw, try to put okay. a screw in this pin. Try to just screw one little screw in the pin. <laughs> the landlords, guys. Okay, so the day in the life of a landlord is continuing. Um... I'm at the property right now. You know, we just got it rented. We uh, filled out a thing today. An applicant filled out and we approved them. So they're moving in later today. I got my uh, daughter and her boyfriend cleaning up the leaves. Um, we really want to make sure the leaves are cleaned up behind the units, like the air conditioning units, um, because it, it, it uh, suffocates them and it, it, it can uh, damage the units. So again, using this great day to, to rake some leaves. And uh, real briefly, again, you know, making use of my uh, storage area here. Uh, we brought a lot of stuff over uh, from the other unit, the basement, and I'm trying to keep everything uh, manageable here. And we're loading it up slowly but surely, but uh, a lot of doors and different measurements and all that good stuff. Okay guys, have a great day. The landlord. Uh, it's a great house. Beautiful street. Um, since I'm here, eh, I can't get back here, but I'll show you the inside. But this is nice, you know. Actually, she needed more space, so I added. She actually split the shed with me, and I'm I'm able to keep it. But uh, oh, actually, I have to go in here anyway because um, well, later because some some issue. But we have a lockbox on the property right over here. We keep it. We keep boxes on everything. Um, so this way we know um, that we can always get into the property if we need to. So really what I'm doing right now is I'm getting in here and uh, I'm going to take you inside. Okay. okay. So this is inside her house. Does a really nice job. Keeps it really clean. You didn't ring the doorbell. I didn't know you were out there. How long were you waiting? Okay, so the day's finally coming to an end. Um, I'm at my favorite place, Home Depot. Uh, my kid, my my daughter worked with me today. She was home for college. Her boyfriend worked with me. It was nice. Got a lot done. Uh, still a lot to do. Uh, I just wanted to show you. This is the truck at the end of the day. Um, uh, always have a tarp in your car. You never know when you have to do some... Uh, work and uh, the, uh, the tenant's place. So anyway, it's been a long day. I hope you enjoyed uh, the day in the life of a landlord, uh, seeing what a typical day looks like. Um, enjoy it. Good night. Until tomorrow, guys. Take care. Lessons for landlords.